Okay, I'm just going to do a quick how-to video for using a controller with MWO. As I'm sure anyone who's tried it before knows, the actual support for the game for using a controller is pretty atrocious. Um, you can't assign triggers to firing groups because they are analog and not just buttons. At least for a Xbox controller, uh, DualShock might be better. Um, the dead zones are pretty rough, and you have a very limited amount of sensitivity that you can set the controller to have. Um, so there's a program called XPatter. It is a paid program now. It used to be free, so I can only assume you could find a free version of it floating around somewhere. It's something I've used for a long time, so I just got the paid version. It's 10 bucks. It's something I've used before. It's something I enjoy. Might as well pay for it. Um, the nice thing with this is you can assign any controller button to work as any uh, computer function as far as like a mouse and keyboard goes. Like right now I have my analog stick set to be the mouse. Um, I have my other analog stick set to be WASD. Um, you can adjust in the settings the diagonal sizes so you can actually have it set so that you can have um, basically so that the stick works as a four direction button. Right now I have it so that there is some diagonal movement so that I can kind of turn walk forward at the same time, but at the same time it's like how right now both of those are green. Right now I would only be walking straight. Right now only my torso would be turning, only walking backwards, only torso turning, as opposed to in between. Um, so you can change that to whatever suits you better as far as moving, your, moving the mech around. With the mouse settings you can also mess with the dead zones which that was one of the bad things about the controller support for the actual game um in the game the dead zones are pretty big so as far as trying to do like small aiming which i mean honestly i'm not that great at mouse or controller to begin with but um, especially when you have a giant dead zone so that your input doesn't get taken up until your sticks all the way over to the side and now your small adjustment is a giant adjustment obviously it just it's not going to work out very well. I'm ready to go from here to the game and then show a bit more. Okay, so we're in the game now. Um, XPatter is running. It's going to have all those controls that we put in uh, based off of what the keyboard settings are. So that's going to be the most important thing while I load up testing grounds here. Um, you cannot have any controller settings saved in the game because even though XPatter is translating the controller input to mouse and keyboard inputs, the game is still going to recognize the controllers plugged in. So if you have controller settings still on in the game, we'll go to settings here, go to controller, I left two on to show an example of what will happen. Basically it'll, it registers that you have a controller, it knows it's there, you can't, you can't trigger it, I'm sure maybe, maybe you can probably more complicated than it's worth but uh, so these are right now these are weapon group four and three because who needs a fifth um, so that's those buttons right now these are throttle up throttle down for what the game sees X pattern sees them as what is weapon group three and four so I'm gonna go to resume game I'm gonna give an angry face to this commando right here and we're gonna fire weapon group four Ah, we're walking forward where'd the commando go Oh, uh, better. Got to fire weapon group three now, so that I can go stare this guy down and get down. Oh, no, we missed him. Shit. All right. So that's what'll happen if you have those set. Is it? It takes both the inputs at the same time because X Patter is telling the computer that you are pressing. Um, for me, I guess it's number three or number four on the uh, keyboard. Um, that's what it's telling the computer is being pressed, while the controller settings in the game are telling the game throttle up and throttle down. So instead of killing the commando, the commando just kind of stands there and wire headshots is a pain in this. But um, the commando just kind of stands there, is like, what is this guy doing? I guess I'm safe for now. Um, another thing that is pretty helpful from there is just kind of a couple of settings that I carried over from MechWarrior 5, which is what got me into trying this game out. Um, have a button set to variable zoom. Um, probably if you're trying to snipe use another one for advanced zoom but variable zoom allows you to aim in and out at the same time just from tapping the button and then everything else from there is I mean really it's all just it's all personal preference obviously just whatever you want it to be set as 
Uh, one thing to keep in mind also with how I was saying you could tune the diagonals is so I have the d-pad set to be a throttle step up and throttle step down for the throttle decay since usually the only way for the throttle decay to work is if you just either throttle step up throttle step down or hit the uh, number pad to set the throttle to a certain percentage whatever you have that set to um, but with the diagonals is usually how if you press um, anything for WASD or sorry just W and S because those are your throttle uh, it cancels the throttle decay. So if you have your diagonals and they're not set just right, and you're trying to trying to turn, like right now I have the throttle, I have the stick kind of forward to, to the diagonal. Now when I let go, throttle decay is off because I hit the throttle. Um, so obviously not very not very conductive for if you're trying to just either circle strafe or or yeah do what I'm doing right now with accidentally hitting it to the side. But at the same time, I mean right now I just use the analog stick anyways and strafe around. Overall, I mean there's not a lot of buttons unless you're having like a whole bunch of weapon groups using a lot of um, a lot of the consumables. There's not a lot that you're gonna need too many extra buttons for. I mean right now I've got I do have every button mapped but I've got left d-pad is open as well as um, the select button. So I mean it's only two buttons but at the same time I also have the start button set to be escape and it's not like I need to have that taken up. I can just reach my keyboard and hit escape if I want to pull up the settings menu. Um, it's not ideal. Obviously less keys. Um, there's always that little bit where the controller is going to be not as fine of an input. I mean see I'm, I'm not a great shot on a console by any means either but there's still that kind of herky-jerkiness trying to get the stick um, aim just right while strafing that atlas and obviously that atlas isn't being piloted by anyone who is shooting back so kind of goes to show it's not the most not the most ideal thing but it is something for if someone's wanting to come over and isn't totally com confident with uh, mouse and keyboard and just wants to check the game out which is where I was at um, coming over to this from uh, Mac Warrior 5 uh, anyways there you have it um, hopefully this helps someone or at the very least now there's a single video and post about how to make a controller work for this game instead of there being absolutely nothing. I uh, hope to see you guys online. Been really enjoying the community so far. Um, not too surprising since it is an old game, so everyone who's playing it is all the uh, all the great people who enjoy it. But everyone's been awesome so far, and hope it continues to go that way. Everyone have a great week.